Welcome back, everybody, to The Late Show, already in progress. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is... Thank you very much. Save it for the guest, please. My first guest tonight is a comedy legend, a giant you know from When Harry Met Sally, 700 Sundays, and as the nine-time host of the Academy Awards, he now stars on Broadway in Mr. Saturday Night. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Billy Crystal! Good to see you again. Great to see you. Now, uh, congratulations on uh, Mr. Saturday Night. I mean, five Tony nominations, including Best Musical. How does it? How does it feel? How did it feel after COVID to be back on stage live in front of the, the people that you loved? So well, it was crazy because, like, when you have the, the, the masks on everybody, it looked like a Howard the Duck convention in the beginning. <laughs> Everyone with a white mask, but it is what it is, and it, you know, and we, we've gotten through it. It was great. I'm looking forward to. We're still. We still have masks here. We're still trying yeah. to look. What with the BA five or whatever their name in the new one. So we're yeah. being a little cautious here. I can't wait to be able to see their their faces again because there's no greater audience in the world than the audience of the Ed Sullivan Theater. Right? No, it's yeah. true. And that's only as a segue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only pandering. You know, you're... Thank you. You've done your job. You've done your job. I'm only pandering that hard as a segue because, as we've talked before, you made your network debut on this stage yeah. for the Howard Cosell show, which was actually shot at this theater in Yeah, right over there. Howard Cosell had a, um, a... It was called Saturday Night Live with Howard Cosell. Um, you all remember him, of course? Yeah, OK. Yeah, sure. great. <clears throat> yeah, and he was a bombastic um, sports announcer and... And he was an outspoken guy who I, I think his voice we miss. And well, in the in the <coughs> in the in the musical, Miss Saturday Night, as Buddy Young, you also do impressions, which is an interesting double gainer for you to do. Yeah. But do you do, do you still do a Cosell? Well, if if I did, Howard, there, there were great voices in the '70s when I first started mm -hmm. as, as a comedian in like '73. There was I, I did Howard Cosell and, and Muhammad Ali, and when I started to do Ali, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really start to do Ali. I started to do um, Brando as Vito Corleone, awesome. and it did. I did. I hit like a roadblock, and I went to the right. It was like Michael. I never wanted this for you. I wanted you to be Senator Corleone, Governor Corleone, or the greatest fighter of all time. <laughs> then I said, I heard Ali. I heard Ali, and it was just a sure. little knob time. Yeah, but yeah. Howard. Howard was just you know. Uh, I'm nasally, so I could get into him and get into that kind of rhythm that he had. And <clears throat> I thought um, if he was working today, he'd be sure. covering the January 6th committee hearings. If only. We just heard from Cassidy Hutchinson. Right there! This may be the first time the Secret Service wrestled the president to the ground to keep us safe from him. <laughs> so, uh, it made fun. Uh, Timeless. Great. Timeless. Great voices from the 70s. What other great voices from the 70s? Oh, well, uh, this was another great voice. Um, and this is guys I used to do, but now you can re-plug them in, and they're, 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 they're suddenly they're, they're, they're apropos. Um, the Mueller report, when you saw Mueller before the report, with that jaw that he had and that look that he had, he sure. was like out of a 40s movie where he'd be the, the, the warden in the prison, you know, fry him, we're gonna fry him! <laughs> Instead, he was, it was bad. It was, like, yeah, boring. It was dead. It was just like uh, a fish. Peter Falk as Columbo would have been a great interviewer of all of those, sure, those sure. dopes that yeah. we were interviewing, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Manafort, I don't... I just don't understand, Mr. Manafort. <laughs> you know, you're, you're fooling around with all of these oligarchs, these oligarchs. I just don't... And, Mr. Kushner, why are you so pale? You're just very... <laughs> Just very pale. It just I don't get it. Yeah, so you fool around with these kind of guys. <laughs> Where'd you get those shoes? <laughs> My wife would love me to have those shoes. <clears throat> I was one thing I missed from the 70s is that I, I wish there were consequences for things. We had Woodward and Bernstein on the other night, and that's what they were talking about. There were consequences back in the 70s. Yeah, and I watched that show. I thought it was a brilliant show. Oh, thanks. And I'm huge fans of those, uh, of, of both of them, and of course you. So I, now I'm pandering. <laughs> and 
I had a, a meeting with Bob Woodward about four years ago at a res, uh, retreat. Uh, Jeff Bezos did a retreat, and, and I had like a 40-minute meeting with him, breakfast, and it was amazing. Then watching him on the show, like Ali became, you know, came from Vito Colon. This guy comes from um, uh, Carol Channing. There's a... <clears throat> Bob Woodward <clears throat> comes from Carol Channing. Yeah, because it, when when you you try to do Bob Woodward, you you hear it and it it's very slow, and and he's got this rather large mouth. And when he talks about uh, uh, Nixon and and Trump, it's very interesting um, uh, to to see the difference between. The two of them, Nixon, <laughs> Richard Nixon was crazy. <laughs> Donald uh, Trump is really crazy. <laughs> so that's it's pretty good. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'll ask Billy how he fell in love with comedy. Stick around.